Hi guys! Welcome to Day by Day Vlogs! Yes, my hair is a mess right now, but no one cares about that. So now let's go see mom getting ready. So, of course, she puts snow pants on because, yeah. Because I sit in the poop. Stall, yeah. And pick poop with my hands, so I like to be comfy mm -hmm. and clean. And then this is Gabby and Dad getting ready. I'm helping him. Then don't press anything. Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's video. crazy busy day in our house um, lots of things happening today that I can't wait to share with you guys and some things happening today that I don't want to share with you guys but I probably will Sophie is trying a horse again today you guys might have seen it in yesterday's video she tried an amazing little Connemara she had a bad bit in no, she did not have a pony bit that I will trot her okay so we might try her again we don't know So Gabby has been working with uh, Willow lunging and she gets it now and she's doing really well, right? You know, I, lunge, like, just do free lunging with your friends. <laughs> That's how she learned it. So what do you think about this new horse you're trying today? I love him already. Oh, it's a gelding. And I'm trying him first and my hair's not brushed. It's my hair's never brushed. I know. <laughs> Don't judge us, you guys. Far, hashtag farm life. What color is this new horse? Palmy. And it's a gelding, and how tall is he? That's what the Brio question um, is. Um, 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 how hot? Is he a pony, or is he 14 a horse? 14 2, 14 3? 14 3. I do not look that bad on ponies. I actually look better on ponies than I do on Storm. Yeah, she looked at, she was watching herself riding yesterday. Hi. And she was like, wow, I actually thought I would be too big, but I look okay. I look better on toy horses. <laughs> <laughs> But Sam is looking so good, you guys. Like, he's got. He's, lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Lost a lot of weight. I just get bigger clothes. That way it makes him yeah, look Yeah, he just gets bigger clothes and makes him look like he's lost a lot of weight. It's so weird, though. Like, hey, Ruby. Come on. He fought me five million days when I said we need to lose weight. I'm like, no, you're not gaining. You're losing weight now. I need you to be around with us forever. And he's like, no, I want to eat. And I was like, no, we want to keep you. You have to lose weight. And he's like, fine. Eventually, it took him about a month, and then he finally got with the program, and now he's looking and feeling amazing. So, last night, um, I had to do chores. Sophie and I did chores ourselves, and so we didn't have enough water down here, so I couldn't soak the hay. So now I'm having to soak the hay, and the horses are like, get me the hay! <laughs> well, Willow escaped. Yeah. Out. Listen, she's like, I'm gonna get the hay. If you won't give me the hay, I'm gonna get it. You can't have it yet, Stella. I'm gonna take it away from you. Cutest horse in the history of the world, you guys. Like, not even, not even joking. If I got we're nothing. Far away from each other, she'll try and reach her neck like, kiss me. Yeah, you never take too many steps, right? She wants to kiss you guys. Yeah, she's a kissing. She's a kissing horse. Mom, kiss her. We settled into this really quiet morning routine that I love. The horses go outside and eat. I muck the arena and outside and it's just super peaceful. Sam putters around with his drill and screws anything he can into a wall. And the girls quietly muck their own stalls. It's just so quiet and calm and amazing. And probably the biggest reason why people have horses at home this time before the world wakes up when everything is calm and peaceful and you get to enjoy it. As parents, we are always learning about our children. And I learned that little Sophia, who loves everybody, is always gentle. She's always gentle, which is why she can't handle Stella. Because it's hard for her to tell her to stop. <laughs> I gave it to you, and Willow can't wait all. <laughs> anyway, 
she has a point, a breaking point, where all the niceness goes away. Essentially, she brought Willow's grain outside because Willow will not finish her grain if if she thinks that it's time to go outside. So she brought Willow's grain outside and Stella said, hey, I think I'm gonna eat that grain. <laughs> Whoo, you have never seen a Sophie like I just saw. I was sitting here picking poop and, and I just sat here watching and I was like bent over in laughter. <laughs> Sophie tried to get Stella away from Willow's grain and she was like pushing on her and saying you get away and when that didn't work she grabbed the grain bucket and she wrestled it away from that big huge animal and let me tell you Sophie won good job Sophie yeah she had to do a little smack and I think that's probably the first time Sophie's ever done a smack to anybody well, I told Stella what would you do if I brought your grain out yeah so rude and Willow came and ate it all like that's Rude. Bad, yeah, mean. it's mean and bad. Like, come on, horsey. You should know better. Oops, all right, we are here. We are here to try another horse. So, everybody, cross your fingers. <laughs> I think he looks really Put cute in. and pink. Could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. A few years later I have started thinking. If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking. So him just pulling his head like that, squeeze more leg and a little bump of your rein will pull him over and then you'll... I have always been afraid of changes, but you show me life is full of faces. Are you going to try it? Uh, yes. That a girl. I have always been afraid of changes, but you show me life is full of faces. Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places, but we were young and unaware. Oh, I got you, there's no reason to chase and pay. Whoa. Whoa. What's some, there you go. 
And back into your trot. He needs to work. He needs to think. Well, More know, than just go around in circles at the same speed. I'm just fine because I got you. Outside rain, little bigger circle, come right up to the bowl, the pole. Yes, when you push, yes. Bend your knees and squeeze the belly. There you go. <laughs> yes, big circle. Push. <laughs> Are you going to canter? Get the chickens. There you go. They'll move. They'll move. Turn. Turn. Look. You ride. You can do it when you're up close to it. Look, he's like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> he thought you were ready. <laughs> okay. Well, he, that's, that's all he wants to do is stop. Not a girl. When you're ready to canter. You're just going to sit, squeeze your outside heel and a little scoop. Go ahead. He wants to. 
Say, come on, if you just give me one little can or we're all done. You tell him. Use your words. Talking to him. That's it. Go ahead. There you go. Two cents. That's what you got. <laughs> you go. <laughs> oh. Keep going. Nice. All right, walk them around the whole arena. Cool. One more lap and we'll take them into the barn. No, I want to tell you guys a couple things about the horse that we just tried that you might not get from the video. One, um, he was ridden previously uh, by a couple of kids and they rode him in a halter and a lead rope for a long, long time. So he's not used to the bit. He has to just get back used to it, which is why he's mouthing all the time, throwing his head and and that's just something that needs to some ride time and some training time um, and a different bit for sure um, also hasn't been ridden much in the last since uh, last September he hasn't been ridden since last September so definitely out of shape um, but that's how well he was when he yeah, was like, only ridden last September both the girls loved him Sophie you saw had so much confidence on him he has crazy breaks uh, he stops on a dime. He can he, gallop and then stop. He uh, did want to go into the trot a lot, or into the canter a lot. He prefers to canter. Um, Hello. Nope. Definitely a, not a spooky horse at all. He is pretty chill about anything. Uh, he's eight years old. Did I say that already? Um, interesting story about his birth that I will share if we actually end up getting that horse. I don't know what we're going to do yet. We still have a little bit of thinking to do. Sam needs to see the video. Um, I figure out he is not a cheap horse, so a little bit of work to do, obviously. That place is where Tex came from, and Tex came with some work to do, and so, yeah, like always, comment below what you guys think about that amazing little guy. So you thought you got it made for He's a living, slipping out the back door But it's not what you're made for And there's nothing that is too late for And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below